Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nerd News. I'm your host, MK5 BDTV. We just have our headline today, where which is GameStop pivots to retro gaming at select location from Will Shacklin by from Engadget. Retro branded stores will include classic consoles and physical games for Nintendo, at PlayStation, and Xbox and Sega. GameStop is pivoting to retro games at select locations as the industry moves to digital media and the retail struggles to adapt to the shifting landscape. Let me make sure we're stacking NFTs. The company is betting on the old school GameStop location. Retro locations will stock physical consoles, discs, and cartridges for classic Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC platforms. The retailer announced that retro GameStop locations in a post on X, i.e., Twitter. Trans rights, but it's okay to dead name Twitter. The company is also has a website where you can search for it in retro friendly locations within a 100 mile radius. GameStop lists 18 classic systems supported by its retro stores, stretching back to the 8 bit glory days of the NES. And this includes the NES, the SNES, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, N64, Sega Dreamcast, PS2, Game Boy Advance, uh, GameCube, Original Xbox, NDS, Xbox 16, the Wii, the PS3. God, the fucking PS3 is considered retro. Doesn't that make you feel fucking old? Nintendo Wii U and the PS Vita. The PS Vita. I like the PS Vita. I'm glad we're getting some support for it. You'll notice that the PSP is among the listed in Gadget email games. Let's try and confirm and submit it and learn more about the initiative. The story has not been updated. So obviously this is a good pivot. Turning like turning into just gaming tripe that nobody wants and filling this like tiny stores wall to wall to where it's uh, you're incapable of moving in it was obviously not great business on GameStop's part. This retro initiative is kind of exactly what you need, and hopefully their pricing will be better than a place like Second and Charles, although I deeply doubt it. They aren't going to be the first people in the retro gaming market, but they certainly are going to be um, the they probably are going to you know be the most recognizable name. Downsides: This is obviously going to kill even more mom and pop shops. Although I do think that most of the people that do enjoy retro games. Uh, will prefer to go to mom and pop shops regardless, but the scale GameStop is at means that they probably have lower prices than these mom and pop shops. By God, the amount of money mom and God, mom and pop shops siphoned from your wallet is insane. But you do want to support games because it is an important part of, the, of gaming culture, and we should make sure that these types of game stores are around for the next generation of gamers. That being said, I don't have a. I, I do think that. GameStop getting into retro games will probably, in, in through through name recognition and brand recognition, will probably incentivize a handful of people who might have an interest in it but don't know where to start to get back into old game systems. People walking into old GameStops to look, to look at things from their childhood. God knows people are going to go want to go pick up an old Xbox and a, and a, and a copy of, of Tony Hawk Pro Skater and just to have fun. I digress. I think this is a probably a good bet on on GameStop's part. Anything, anything really to stop the death spiral of their company. I they gave I gave them a, I gave them a shit ton of game. I gave them probably like ten games back in twenty eleven, and then they gave me back about fifteen dollars in store credit. F fucking the age of all They did. They deserve that short squeeze. Anyways, hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.